Welcome back everyone to more Real Farm gameplay. Now in our other Let's Play series, we're going through the career mode. And of course, the point of the career mode is to complete various different jobs for one or more farmers around the game world with the ultimate goal being to purchase and own your own farm. Well, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna click on play. We're gonna go to a new game, still gonna stay on easy. And we're gonna go to free mode. Now, the, in free mode, as the name would imply, we are free to do whatever we want. We can take jobs from other farmers around the world, or we can simply work on our own fields because here we're going to start out owning the farm, and I'm sure a few different fields around the world. So then we have a lot of choices. We can work on our own fields. We can do work for other farmers, buy our own equipment, lease our own equipment, you name it. We can do a lot of things. So you might wonder, okay, why are we doing two separate series here? Well, the real reason is in the career mode, our path is pretty well set. We're going to do various jobs for the other farmers, meaning that the only thing we get to do within the game world is what the other farmers have available on their job board. Well, in free mode, we get to do whatever we want. And what I really want to do right now is work with the animals. Okay, we got some animals to work with in this game. But so far in career mode, we've not gotten any indication that we're going to get to do anything with them. So that's what this gameplay is going to be about. We're going to deal with animals and we're just going to learn about it. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of information available about this game. It's pretty much you have to figure it out on your own for most everything. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to learn as we go along. Now, we're going to start out in a new free mode. It's going to ask us, do you want to start with a short tutorial? No, we do not. We've already gotten that in the career mode. In fact, we're still getting it in the career mode. All right, so let's take a look real quick and see what we have. So we have already the farm, and you can see we have three fields. Field number one, field number four, and field number five. And all of those, of course, are in very close proximity to our farm. So we're in good shape at the very beginning. Let's take a quick look at the vehicles that we already have. And let's say we have a truck, a basic tractor. We have, wow, a very, very nice harvester. And then we've got a plow, a weight, and a sower. And then, of course, you have your header for the harvester. So here's the first thing I'm going to do. We're starting out with $20,000. But here's just the thing. I don't need all of these things. Okay, we don't need to own all of this equipment. So I'm going to select some of these. We're actually going to sell some of this off. And the reason is... It just doesn't make a whole lot of financial sense to me to own all of these things. Instead, I'm perfectly fine with renting them. Now, I'll keep the weight. It's not going to make a whole lot of difference one way or another. And I'm also going to keep two vehicles. Now, it also makes sense to rent those as well. Okay, so now we essentially own a weight. We might as well get rid of that too since we're going to end up buying it back probably but the weights in this game unfortunately don't seem to make a whole lot of difference in the handling as opposed to some other uh, farming sim games it doesn't really seem to matter a whole lot uh, hopefully i'm wrong about that in the future uh, but now you can see we own nothing so now we're going to need to go to the shop and we're going to pick up a few things because my goal is going to be to work with the animals we're going to need a tipper and of course, we're going to need some tractors and we're probably going to end up with some cars. Let's go ahead and buy a car to start off with. We'll go ahead and select that. I don't care about the color because it's going to serve a very specific purpose for us. All right, so we've rented that. Now I can press the comma key and that'll take us straight to the vehicle station. And let's see, now what do we want to do here? Let's come to our map. And our map brings up some locations that we're interested in. One place that we're interested in, if I hover over it, is the farm supply shop. That's where we're going to get a lot of the supplies for not only our fields, but the feed for our cattle and other animals. Then we're going to have the livestock shop. This is where we're going to be purchasing and selling our livestock. Now, we can sell livestock straight from the farm over here, but whenever we purchase, we need to purchase from the livestock shop. So what I'm going to do is drive from where we are now. I'm going to drive straight over to the livestock 
barn and we're going to start there. And all of this will make a little bit more sense as we go along if you're not familiar with the game, but we're going to need some vehicles stationed at different parts around the map. All right, so we're driving along and I am going to need to, oh, look out. Ooh, this thing stops really quick whenever you release the throttle. All right, and you can see the livestock barn is right over. I'm trying to get this thing because it does not want to turn, but at the same time, as soon as I take my foot off the accelerator, it wants to immediately stop. So it makes it a little harder to drive. All right, so we're at the livestock market. We're going to press E, come under livestock, and what we want to start out with are cows. All right, so we're in good shape here. Cows are $960 a piece. Let's go ahead and select those. And how many do we want? Well, one of the reasons why I sold off everything to get so much money, 217,000 right now, is because I wanna get as many cows as possible and we're gonna see how much money we can make on 75 cows. All right, so now we have our cows. You can see we're down to $145,000, almost 146,000. All right, so now we are actually going to get out of this we're gonna leave this truck here almost looks like that that cow in the background is standing in the back of our truck now we're gonna come back into the shop next thing we're gonna need is a tractor now I prefer the garrison tractor the beginning tractor. you can see there's another one uh, that is in a little bit more powerful and then finally a third one further down with even more horsepower we're gonna start out with the basic garrison the reason is the horsepower let's go ahead and add 20 horsepower to it and the reason is it really doesn't take a whole lot more money you can see four hundred and fifty dollars to rent this or if I add 20 to 20 horsepower it really only goes up a little bit so it's not much we're gonna rent that then we're gonna go back to the shop and I'm gonna need a tipper now the question is how much can we get okay so 115 we can actually do this one 15,000 liters is what it will hold all right that works for me Let's go ahead and select that and same thing here we're going to rent it okay now i'm going to press the comma again and now you can see we're over here at the vehicle shop let's pick up our tractor again we really need a weight on the front of this thing but it doesn't seem to matter in the game at least as far as i can tell to this point so we're not going to get one just yet all right we're going to connect our tractor to the tipper and off we go this time we're headed back to the farm, but we need to make one quick stop first. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. In fact, tell you what, let's go ahead and, oh boy, this thing has some issues with handling. Let's go ahead and press V and get on the inside. Let's hope we don't get run over crossing the street without paying any attention. And we're gonna work our way over here to basically what I call the feed shop. It's the supply store where we're going to get most everything we need for our farm. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to just be dealing with animals because the game really doesn't allow that. Uh, and I found that out the hard way here recently. Um, I have been playing around with some things and unfortunately had to learn the hard way some of the game mechanics. All right, here we go. Let's get in here. Supply shop. All right, so we're going to... Animal feed is the number one thing we need. This is what we're going to feed our animals with. At least for now. We're going to try some things going forward. But for now, we need that. In fact, let's go ahead and get 20,000 very quickly. Because remember, we got 75 cows. It's going to take a lot to feed them. All right, so we've loaded up on that for now. Let's go ahead and purchase all the seeds as well. This game treats all the seeds apparently as the same. You don't purchase any different types of seeds. So we're going to get all the insecticide that we'll need for a little while anyway. And then same thing with, actually, no, we're not going to do the fertilizer because we're going to actually be using some natural fertilizer that the cows are going to give us in the form of slurry. All right, let's see if we can make our way back. There we go. All right, so now we're on our way back to the farm. The farm is just on the other side of the river here. In fact, that's field number one over to the left that we're looking at. And the first thing we're gonna do is actually take a little shortcut here. 
and we're going to head back to get the feed out of our silo. Now, here's the main silos that are used to store the various different types of crops that we're going to grow. But the feed that we're going to need for our animals, look in there and see there's our cows. They've already been delivered. We're going to pick up that feed right here. All right, let's withdraw the food. And I wish it would be a little bit easier to do this, but we want to max out on the amount of food that we're getting. Unfortunately, when we get into the cow barn here, we're not going to be able to unload all 10,000. In fact, let's see what we've got here. Now, unfortunately, this thing is a little bit hard to control once we get inside here. All right, I'm going to try to line this up because we need to get it right to the back. There we go. Now, it, now watch the pop-up. On the bottom left-hand corner, you can see we have 10,000 currently in storage. As soon as I press E, it immediately, even though it's playing an animation, it's already given 7,000 of food. That's as much as you can put in the food trough. And as long as I do this, there is no more animation that's going to play. So we're going to go ahead and stop that. Now the animals have plenty of food, and we can check on that by going into the menu, clicking on livestock and cows, and you can see our food is at 100%. You can see there's also some milk here. This, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a bug or what, but this number will change from time to time, but it never shows like it's being emptied and resupplied like the cows are being milked or anything like that. But what we're going to pay attention to is several things within here. Of course, we have our 75 cows that we've purchased. The health, when we first get them, they start off at 40%. As long as we keep these three at the bottom, the food, water, and cleanliness above a certain number, and I don't know exactly what those numbers are. I think it's somewhere around 25 to 40 percent, somewhere in that range, but I don't know exactly. But as long as we can keep the, all these numbers north of that, then we're going to be perfectly fine. Now, one of the things that helps us is so far, I've not seen the water go down at all. Okay, and as we drive around, uh, the premises of the barn and other places, you'll notice there is no place to add water to the cow barn. There's only a place for feed. So really all we got to do is worry about food and cleanliness. Food we just took care of and we'll continue to take care of that as time goes on. And then cleanliness, 100%. That we'll have to take care of by emptying out the slurry as it is created. You can see there's none right now, but as the days go on, there'll be some of that and we'll empty that out and use it on the fields. All right, so we're starting at 40%. This number will increase as, as long as these three needs are met. So we'll keep an eye on that as time goes on. All right, so we've given them all of the feed. While I'm at it, I'm actually going to... So let's go around here and refill this. I did purchase 20,000 feed, I think. No, apparently I did not. Okay, I could have sworn I did. All right, no problem. All right, we'll go ahead we'll get out here and we're going to go back into the shop. And I'm actually going to, going to get another garrison tractor. Same thing here, plus 20. Now, I'm not sure this is actually needed. I haven't gone in depth uh, to all the implements to see if this extra 20 horsepower is really helping us that much. But essentially, it's not costing us very much of anything, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's costing us $490 to rent and then $9 per operating hour, and then $260 per day. All of those are very small sums compared to the amount of money that we stand to make off the use of this equipment. So I'm going to, let's see, let's make this one green. Our first one was red. Let's make this one green, just so we can hopefully tell them apart a little bit better. All right, we're going to rent that. Okay, now what else are we going to need? Well, we're going to need some other things like plows and so forth. But one thing I want to make sure that we get, let's see how much the truck is. Okay, it's only 25000 which I think is going to be much better for us in the long run. Yeah, it's much cheaper than these others. So what I'm going to do is rent another truck for us. This one's going to be black. The first one was the blue. Let's go ahead and rent that. We're going to press the comma again. And there you can see our tractor and our truck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to drive this thing. Oh, my goodness, I've already run into something. I'm going to drive this truck over to the supply store. Man, I can't wait 
until they get these vehicles to where the handling is much better and the turning radius is much smaller. Because unless I lift off the throttle, these things do not turn very much at all. And of course the bad part is, as soon as you lift off the throttle, the thing wants to stop. So this part of it is not fun. And of course I'm having to do all this with keyboard. Uh, it would be nice if I could use my wheel and pedal set, but that is not available. Okay, so open the supply shop. Now we are going to, gotta scroll back up, there we go. Animal feed, we want to make sure we purchase I could have sworn we got 20,000 when we were here the first time. All right, so now we've got, we've purchased that. And I'm going to actually get out of that truck and we're gonna leave this truck here. Oops, all right, one more time, there we go. Now we're in our tractor, so what do we need from the tractor? Well, we need to purchase some more vehicles at the shop. One of the things we're gonna need is a plow, then we're gonna need uh, actually sprayers and sewing machines and all sorts of stuff. But for right now, what we're gonna get is, let's start with, I'll tell you what, let's start with the plow. And I'm gonna get one with a decent working width. Now the option for the beginner here is 1.3 meters, and then for not quite 3,000 more, I can get one with basically twice the working width. So I definitely don't want this one. So we want at least this one, and then you can see now we're back to 1.3 meters, 2.25, and then all the way up until we get six and a half meters, but this one is quite expensive and is gonna require a much bigger tractor. So we're gonna actually go back to the C4 because I don't know the difference between that one. I mean, the working width is the same. Obviously the cost and some things are different, but I'm just gonna go with this one because I don't really know any real difference that we're going to get. Let's go ahead and back up, pick up our, there we go. All right, so now we've got our plow. We're gonna head back. And what we're doing now is we're basically buying back a lot of the tools and implements that we're gonna need to take care of the fields and also the animals. We're gonna start off with our cows and then we're gonna move into sheep and pigs and maybe chickens. The chickens don't enthuse me as much because I don't think there's as much opportunity to make money off of them. So we'll probably hold them to last if we mess with them at all. But I definitely want to get into the cows because they should hold a huge amount of potential income. And then along the way as we're, as we move through the different days in the game world, then I'll share some things that I've learned about raising the cows and some things to do and not do. Because again, I've learned the hard way some things and then there's a whole lot more that I actually need to learn. All right, so now I'm gonna do things the way I consider them to be fun and that is buy a whole bunch of implements and, and different things like that. I, I enjoy doing that. Um, I'm not trying to do a minimalist series here. All right, now we've come to one of our fields. This is field one. Okay, now what do we need to do? Well, the five icons at the top will let us know what we need to do. The first one to the far left is going to be the plow. So obviously it's completely red and none of the circle is filled in, which means that it needs to be plowed. And essentially, if I zoom in on the field, you can tell it definitely needs some work done. So we're going to plow. The second icon is for cultivating. It needs to be cultivated after we plow it. Then after that, we've got our water, which right now is pretty good. It's about three quarters of the way up. Then we've got fertilizer is the fourth from the left. And again, somewhere around three quarters of the way on it as well. And then finally to the far right, the amount of insects. And that's what we'll be using insecticide to help out with. And right now that number is in the green because so far, so good. Very few insects on the field. What I'm gonna do now is hire a worker and you can see that everything disappears and you notice that in the top left hand corner of the screen we have field information which has a blue worker icon as well as right here in the game world 
right in the center of the field, there is a worker icon in blue. That is because you can't see the workers in this game. What it's done is it started a timer. We're going to come back into the menu, go to the worker screen, and you can see it's costing us $189 for this worker to plow the field. And it's going to take him about three, a little over three hours in the game to do this. All right. So, and while he does this, we can't see anything. The equipment is gone. And then once he's done, the equipment will reappear over in the farm area. Now that brings us back to the shop where we're going to need to get a cultivator. All right. Same thing here. We're going to look at working with 2.6 meters, five meters. Wow. So another huge jump between the beginner model and one model up. Then you go to nine. The problem here is, if you'll notice, 300 horsepower. We don't have anything close to that. So we're going to go ahead and get the second one, which is five meters wide. That's pretty nice. And we can use it on one of the lower end tractors. So we're going to go ahead and select that. We're going to rent that as well. And then we're going to come back and we're going to need another tractor. Again, this is definitely not the most economic way of doing this. It's just the most fun for me, I like to purchase a whole bunch of different stuff in the game. It's one of the ways I have a good time with it. This one I'm going to make blue, and we're going to get the plus 20, and let's rent that as well. There we go. Now we show back up. All right, now let's get, get this one hitched up. There we go. That is a nice and large size cultivator. All right, now we're headed back to the farm with this. So, so far so good. Things are, are going well. We've got our cows. They've got some food. Uh, they've got plenty of water. As, as I mentioned, I don't think the water number ever goes down uh, for them, at least not that I've noticed. And then their cleanliness will start to go down over time. We're going to have to get to a point where we're doing something with the slurry that is produced, and we've already got that taken care of. We're going to use it on the fields that we're working. And that's really my main goal. We'll use as much slurry as is available, but my main focus is going to be the animals. If we have to go a while without working the fields, that is not a problem for me. We're doing plenty of that in the career mode. All right, here we go. In fact, let's see, where do I want to put this? I'm going to have to start parsing things. Let's see, I'd like to actually put it over here on the side, but I don't think that's going to work. First, let me take a, a quick glance and see where our worker is. Okay, he's still got plenty of time left. All right, so for now, what I'm going to do is bring our guy right over here. And I'm going to park it right there. Okay, so one of the other things that we know we're going to need, in fact, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and... Go back to the shop. We know we're going to need a slurry tank. And the only difference that, you know, 10 meters in working with, you can see that's the same for all of them. We can't get the largest one because it's 150 horsepower. And for now, we're sticking with the lower end tractors. So we can get this one, and it's got 10,000 liters as opposed to 7,500. So we're actually, we want the most capacity we can realistically get at this particular point in time because our main goal is going to be taking slurry out of the slurry tank. What we do with it after that, I'm not totally concerned with. So we're going to get this slurry tank, and we're going to go ahead and rent this. Okay, and then you guessed it, we're going back to the shop to get another tractor. Okay, same thing here. Again, there's nothing sophisticated going on here. There, the only rhyme or reason I have this time with doing any of this is that it's fun for me. We're going to rent another one of these. And now 
there we go. We're headed back to pick up our slurry tank. And we're going to leave this for the most part parked right over by the slurry tank on the farm. There we go. All right, so, so far, so good. We are doing quite well. I don't want the video to run too long for this, but you get the idea. We have we started out by getting a couple of trucks and parking them at some locations that we're going to be frequenting. We're going to need to go to the livestock shop to purchase more cows, sheep, and so on. And then we're also going to need to go quite frequently over to purchase new seeds and more feed and so on. At least for the time being, we'll get the feed from here and we'll get that from the farm supply store. Then we've been renting all of our equipment. We were renting all of our tractors and we're also renting all of the implements as well. All right, so we're gonna head over toward the slurry tank, which is the black tank immediately in front of us, just to the left-hand side as we're now facing the cow barn. Okay, and I'm gonna try to get this thing over fairly close so it doesn't take up any more room than it needs to. I just need to come over just enough to, there we go. All right, so we couldn't withdraw the slurry. We don't really need to right now. Let's take a quick glance at the livestock and cows. Okay, yeah, a little bit of slurry, but it's only 2%. You can see that food has dropped down by 7%, cleanliness by 3%, and no health increase yet. It'll take probably a at least about a half of a day in the game world in order to start to see that change. So the idea here is we dropped off the food, which unfortunately does not show up anywhere around for the cows to eat. There's no visual representation of it. The only representation we have of it is here in, in the menu. Okay, and then the slurry is automatically collected from the cows and presumably going through these doors and out the other side where the tank is just over there. So that's kind of the idea. Okay, we've got two more areas for animals as well that we're going to get into in future videos. And that is, if we come right over to this side of the farm, we can see the area for the pigs. And then we've got a nice barn area there for the pigs, as well as a place to pick up the fertilizer there. And then finally, our last area for the animals, that at least that we're concerned with, is going to be the sheep. And for that, we need to head up the hill. So now we're back over just behind the cow barn. We're going to head up the hill and find the area where our sheep will be kept. So here we go. And you can see, once again, the icons. There's an icon over here for the feed. There's an icon over here for the water. And then finally, the fertilizer icon, which is on the far side over here. All right, so that's what we're going to be dealing with in future videos for now. We're going to we're going to keep it right here. We've gotten several implements. We've gotten some tractors, multiple tractors, multiple trucks, cows. We got a whole lot going on here just in the beginning. And of course, we have right now a worker who is currently plowing field number one. So we've got quite a bit going on. Can't wait to get started again with video number two. But for now, we're going to have to leave it here. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more of our playthrough of the free mode here in real farm.